Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. This is one of our quick fire Q&A sessions where I encourage people to drop questions into me and I will answer them off the cuff. There's no research, I'm just looking at the questions and I will fire back my answers in quick time. I just smatter these amongst my longer form videos to keep the interest going and our engagement alive. So today's question comes from Mr. White's Pale King. And he says, hello Ash, I enjoy your channel very much. I'm heading to London in April of 2023 for a holiday. I would very much, uh, or I shall be staying in Mayfair. As a 52-year-old man, can I have some suggestions on dressing appropriately and stylishly? Thanks, Daniel from Australia. Well, sir, I don't know whether you visited London before, uh, but coming as you are from the other side of the world, you are in for an absolute treat. Because to my mind, and I am somebody who's travelled rather extensively throughout my, uh, my life, I do find London to be one of the most fulfilling and exciting cities within the world to visit. Because not only is it a sprawling metropolis of, you know, untold centuries of history, but it is a modern, thriving capital city in which there is so much to see and so much to do. And as I say, its heritage is an important part of London's appeal. Because it's been the capital of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and before that, you know, the British Empire, for many, many centuries, it has a lot of, um, a lot of history and heritage around every corner. But when you're visiting that city, you need to be prepared for a bit of that history being present in the way that some of the more established um, hotels, restaurants may expect you to dress. Now, I had a trip to London, first one in two years actually, because of the pandemic, about two months ago. And I knew that we would be visiting a couple of nice uh, restaurants. I'd made a booking to celebrate a special occasion at uh, Rules Restaurant, for instance. Now, Rules is one of the, uh, it is the oldest restaurant in London. I believe that's what it claims. And it is a very old fashioned, oldy worldy restaurant, wood panelled, immaculate service and fantastic hearty food. If you are visiting London, um, I would heartily recommend you visit uh, rules in right in the middle of town because it's an experience if you're not um, British which will really be exciting for you however there's a dress code and you will find this in many uh, nice places that you visit in rules for instance a jacket and tie would be required for a gentleman well I say required it it really does depend on the sort of place you're going to now sometimes they'll say you know simple things like no no sweatshirts, no t-shirts, no jeans, no training shoes. Really what they're saying is they want you to be smartly attired. Um, so, you know, I would suggest that if you're going out to a nice restaurant in the evening, a jacket will be your base level of dress. Now, whether you choose to wear a tie or not, that's another matter because the world is evolving and, you know, many gentlemen go tieless in the modern era. I personally think it's a respectful accolade to wear a tie. Uh, you know, you're elevating your style. You're going to look pretty good. So think about that. And it's not just nice restaurants. Um, you know, many of the grand hotels which you encounter, if you're staying in Mayfair, it's quite possible you'll be staying in one of the better hotels in, in the city. Um, for instance, my favourite grand hotel in London is Claridge's. It's an Art Deco style, wonderful hotel. I've stayed there quite a few times. And when I visit London, if I ever want to call in for a drink and I'm in that part of town, I'll step into their bar in the daytime. Now, it's a very swish bar. You'll often find high net worth individuals in that bar, you know, because of the location in London and the type of hotel it is. It is very smart and you will often see men and women dressed up to the nines in the bar at lunchtime. What I would say to you is dress accordingly, all right? A jacket and a, and a shirt with a collar will see you probably through most of the dress codes that you'll encounter in London. But never be intimidated, all right? If you see somewhere that indicates you need to wear a jacket and tie, don't be put off. This is merely to make sure that everybody feels comfortable when they're in the bar because they dressed appropriately. And don't forget, 
As much as we dress for ourselves, we dress to respect the other people around us. And if there are people in that bar, in that restaurant, who are celebrating a very special occasion, it might be a 50th wedding anniversary, a special birthday, they don't want to be seated at the table next to some people wearing t-shirts and jeans and training shoes. It's not that they're snobs, but if you've dressed up for a special occasion and you've gone to a wonderful restaurant where you know the bill is going to run into hundreds of pounds, the last thing you want is the tone of your evening taken down by being seated next to people who haven't dressed with the same level of respect. So dressing well or having a dress code in a restaurant or hotel is not snobbish, it is merely a respectful way of dressing for your fellow diners or fellow people who are in the bar. Now, you will find that London, in general, uh, if you're coming for a holiday for the first time, is a very stylish city. But like anywhere, it is a city of two halves. Of course you will see people in the finest bespoke suits from Savile Row, walking down the street every day. I mean, I love walking around London, particularly Greater London, the middle part, where you know the financial sector is based and lots of other things because there are men, you know, high net worth individuals, men who've got jobs with staggering salaries and they can afford to go to Savile Row and have, you know, George Cleverly shoes or John Lobb shoes. And when I walk past them in the street, I cast them an admiring glance and think, crikey, you know, if only one day I had the income to dress like these fellas, I appreciate it. I like to see it. And you will too. If you like men's dress, if you enjoy my channel, for instance, it can be something of an education to see these bespoke um, suits, shoes and so on being worn in daily application by men in quite possibly I think one of the most stylish and sartorial cities in the world. But on the other hand, in the evening, you can go out uh, you know, to a pub in perhaps more of the southern, southern parts of the city. I often um, stay just over the river in the Southwark area of London. I've got a club I'm a member of there, which I often go to and stay because um, it's quite inexpensive. But if you nip out to the pubs there, it's ordinary London folk, you know, and they'll be dressed as you may dress in your daily life, in your suburb of Australia, wherever you live. Because it's not all fanciness. It is absolutely people living their ordinary lives. It depends on where you go and what time of day. So I would say to pack, take a jacket uh, and some, at least take a jacket. I mean, you know, and at least some ties and some nice shirts, a couple of white shirts, a couple of light blue shirts. If you want to pack just one item, Pack a navy blue blazer. That will really cover you for anything that you're likely to encounter. If you're going out for afternoon cre cream tea in the Savoy, going for dinner in Claridge's, or a meal in the evening in Rules, um, a navy blazer, a white shirt and tie, and you are going to look as good as anybody else in that location. No need to have any envy or anxiety about the way you're dressed. Have a great trip. You will love London. It is so full of things to do and see. Don't forget to take a walk down German Street. Do not forget to walk down Savile Row and cast your eye down because as you walk past those wonderful um, tailoring establishments, you know, Huntsman, uh, Norton and Sons, Geeves and Hawks, you pass them all. You can look down, because from the pavement you look down and you can see into the basement uh, workshops and you can actually see the tailors, the cutters, all doing their work and creating these magnificent works of art, which are bespoke suits made in the finest tailoring location in the world. It's worth going there just to see that itself. So enjoy your trip. Let me know how you get on. Have a great time. I might see you there. I'm often passing through London and it's my pleasure to uh, partake of the odd libation in some of the places I've mentioned. And if you do see me, say hello, I'll buy you a drink. So until the next time, take care and I will see you again very soon.